My name is John Barker. This is the Skull and Mortar Kitchen, and today we are comparing the Mercer Genesis to the Vosteed Stallion. Yeah, so first things, comparing presentation, which really doesn't matter that much at all, I'm gonna go ahead and say that the Vosteed Stallion series looks way cooler when it comes to you, right? It looks like you're getting more of a, uh, you're getting fancier, like just a higher end experience based on the packaging alone. Uh, not the packaging really matters at the end of the day, but you do get a notice that this thing comes with a 120 day money back guarantee. And you get some advertisement for the different knives that they do have, some of which you know I've already used on this channel, and I was very happy with their performance. So let's get this Genesis from Mercer open here. And I've heard a lot of good things from Mercer. Uh, they're a pretty popular knife brand uh, because they offer a good knife at a price that's pretty reasonable. Son of a bitch, I cut right on the line. So if you cut on the line, it still doesn't open. That's a little annoying. Let's go ahead and cut on this side. That will just stay here. And this is what we are left with here. So uh, first things first, the handle is a rubber grip. Uh, it actually feels pretty nice in the hand. It feels pretty steady. Uh, this right here is kind of a sharp drop, so I could see how that might wear on your hand uh, if you're doing a lot of chopping on it. You see that there? It's kind of, it's not a very soft kind of bevel there, but um, I mean, it looks like it's pretty nice. I would guess that this is probably stamped if I had to guess, but I, I, I don't know that for sure. Looks like it's got a nice edge on it straight out of the gate. It does look like it's uh, full tang. Uh, if I pulled it out of here, I guess I would guess that this is one whole piece by the way that it feels. So uh, you see it's a high carbon German steel X50 V15. So it's a pretty solid quality knife for the price. Uh, I think that this thing retails for 30 bucks. If I'm wrong, we'll drop it down below. But all in all, it feels pretty good in the hand. My initial thought though, is that this might kind of wear on you after a while. Now let's check out the Vosteed. Let's get it out of the package here, the Vosteed Stallion series. Definitely easier to get out of the package. Again, I'm not sure how much that really matters in the long run. Again, this knife also very lightweight. Uh, this is some sort of plastic handle. Let's see if it says on here. I don't see it in anywhere on here what it is, but it's some sort of plastic handle. Uh, it also feels pretty good in the hand. Uh, I would probably give initially, I would say that my initial thoughts when I grab this feels way more comfortable. Uh, you can see that that's not as such a, a sharp drive, drop off. It's got a nice kind of like little ramp there for your fingers and that feels pretty nice. Your finger rests nice in there. Again, it looks like we have a nice edge here as well. So this knife here, the Mercer is a little bit heavier. The Vasid is definitely a little bit lighter. Uh, I think I prefer the grip on this one, uh, the Vosteed here, uh, just because I, I don't know, I'm more used to using these kind of plasticky wood handles uh, and it feels more natural to that. Uh, they both sit well right there on that finger, but yeah, this is a, a, a marked difference. Like there's a, a definite like kind of sharp pull to that and that kind of sucks. You can also tell here there's definitely a full tang. Vosteed made sure to show that off all the way through the knife handle. So that is one solid metal piece. So that's nice as well. Although I, I believe that this is too from the way that it feels, uh, you just can't really see it. So first out of the gate, we are going to, and we'll do Mercer first on everything. We're gonna do the paper test. I know probably nobody's chopping paper, but here's the first cut with this knife. Woo, razor sharp out of the box. Look at that. Even get a slow pull on it. Yeah, that Mercer is razor sharp out of the gate. Look at that. I mean, let's see how thin we can cut it. Look at that. So that's pretty impressive, I'd say, straight out of the gate. Now, let's flip it over and let's see what the stallion does out of the gate. Also, razor sharp. Look at that. Let me see if I can get a little, little thin guy on here too. No issues. So both of these knives, razor sharp out of the gate. 
to be honest with you, I couldn't tell much of a difference uh, of the sharpness based on the paper test. But let's be honest, paper test does not really matter when it comes down to it. Nobody is cooking paper, I don't think. All right, we're just gonna drop a tomato and see what happens. So we got about, what, about halfway through the tomato and that was about a six inch drop, so it wasn't a whole lot. Yeah, look at those razor th sharp, very thin slices. And this is kind of a soft tomato. So let's see here. Let's just try this. Uh oh, look at that. That's a big difference. That's a big difference out of the gate. So it came right through that tomato there. So let's put that tomato off to the side. So far, one drop, the Vasti got almost all the way through that tomato again with about a six inch drop. So let's see here, let's cut through some. Wow, dude, I just didn't. Okay, that's impressive. Look at that. All right, guys, so I'm gonna give, in the, the thin tomato test, honestly, I think that the Vasti definitely won that battle. All right, now let's just see what we do slicing some tomatoes here. No trouble from the Mercer. Let's just see what we can do with the weight of the knife. A nice clean cut, look at that. Nice slices. So uh, from what I can tell, this knife feels good. It feels good in the hand when you're cutting with it. It does a great job. Again, nice cuts from the Mercer knife. Now this is the Vosti. That's a very, very smooth cut. Yeah, that thing is razor sharp. Let's go back to the Mercer here. We're gonna, I also wanna, that also feels, so the rotation there feels good. I can feel some tug right there. Like I said, that there's definitely some wear right there. I can feel that. It's gonna probably build up a callus on your finger right there. Let's try out how that Vosteed feels. Yeah, that's, that's nothing. That feels good. You could, you could probably chop for hours like that. Nice. Now we're back to the Mercer. Let's see how it does with an onion. Slice right through. I felt a little bit of resistance, uh, but it was a fairly smooth cut. All right, so now we're just gonna try dicing the onion. Again, ooh, that was a little stiff. All right guys, so I can definitely feel some resistance cutting through this guy here. But for 30 bucks, I think it's probably pretty good. I'm not, I'm not really upset about it at all. All right, let's try this now with the Vosteed Stallion. Very smooth, no resistance at all. Look at that, just cuts right through it, no problem. Very nice cut, very nice experience. Very smooth. Look at that. Literally no resistance at all. Oh, cut right through the lettuce. That's again, that's the Mercer. No trouble at all whatsoever there. Let's go ahead and cut across here with the Vasti just to see if there's any difference. Dude, it's like there's nothing here. It's like I literally just cut through paper, guys. I mean, not paper, like it's like I cut through water, you know what I mean? Like, look at it. I really like the experience of this knife. Guys, I just wanted to do a quick video comparing these two knives since I had the opportunity to test them both out. I'm gonna give this to the Vasid Stallion. It seems like it's way sharper. I like the way uh, it fits in your hand just a little bit better because it doesn't have that sharp edge to it. So I don't think it's gonna wear on your finger as much. Uh, but out of the box, the sharpness, is not even comparable. The Stallion is a clear winner when it comes to that. How do they hold up over time? We might have to do another video and kind of compare those later on, but out of the box, the Stallion, hands down, the winner of which is sharpest and which feels better in the hand. And those are the two things that really matter the most. Holler at your boy. Check us out on Twitch, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave a comment down below. We'll see you guys with a brand new video here soon.